Hello and welcome to the overview of the flamethrower project. In this project we're gonna quickly overview all the features that are available in this package and how you can use your flames and interact with your environment. So if we jump in the first thing you might notice is that we're using the first person template. If I click left mouse button and I hold it I will spawn a flame. The flame will follow the camera direction and if it impacts with um, the environment it will create additional things. So for example I shoot on the wall I will apply the decals and I'll spawn some smoke. Also there are some example blueprints here on how the flamethrower can interact with the environment. For example the ice. If the flame impacts with the ice it will slowly melt it. If it impacts with the wood it will burn it and if it impacts with the metal it will make it over time hot. But there is more interesting interaction that we can do with this flamethrower for example the flame propagation. Now as it is if I shoot on the ground not much will happen but if I put this object on flame it will start spreading fire. This is just one example. This is another example. I can start from the left, I can start from the right, I can start from the middle. For example, I want to start with this guy. So I put him on fire. After a set amount of time, the fire starts spreading. Spawns additional flames, smokes. And you can set up everything. You can set up the rotation of the flames the position of the flames, how much times before it triggers another actor and so on. This is another example. Spreading from multiple directions. On the details panel of the blueprints you can set up everything as you want and we're gonna have a quick overview of that later. For example here there is another event that you can trigger from the fire propagation blueprint you can uh, interact with the extra event blueprint. For this example we're using some wooden planks so I wanna let's say I wanna set this on fire. The fire starts spreading and it triggers the extra event. Time to move on to the next room. Here we have another blueprint and it is fire propagation. For this test we're gonna do something really expensive but it's just to show off how you can use this blueprints at your advantage. We could shoot here, we could shoot there, we could shoot there. There is a fire propagation volume on this floor and for example I want to start from there. The fire starts spreading attaches to the other actors and slowly over time the fire is going to eat everything. And see the fire is still spreading. The cool thing about this blueprint is that you can set up bounds for your flames so they don't extend over time until the end of time you can stop the flames where you want and when you want. But this example the fire is still spreading and after everything is done we we'll see some smoke and now we can move into the other room. You can create interesting events. For example, this is another example room and this is way more expensive than the last room. And let's trigger the event. The flame starts spreading. Set another guy on fire. Yeah, the fire is eating through the planks, the roof, and it's spreading on the other walls. 
and slowly everything will start falling apart. This is just one of the ways that you can use this blueprint to interact with your environment. This is a way costly experiment, but it's just to show off how you could use set up the entire thing. The fire here is still spreading along the wall surface. So, how does this work? Oh, this guy is still alive. Not anymore. So, how do this, does this work? Pretty much, you can go here on your blueprint that you can place on your level and you have a few settings. For example, for this crate we are just using a standard cube so we assign a wooden material so we have a wooden crate and here we have a table we decided to use this static mesh as a table and we have a bunch of settings for example do we want to use the static mesh if we don't want to we will have no static mesh and will not be calculated when building lightning and for this example on this wall we don't have any static mesh assigned and we will use this blueprints just for the fire propagation you can set up how much the decal has to stay alive the radius of the propagation you can see the sphere and for after how long the fire particle has to be turned off same goes for the smoke how much time before transferring the fire to another blueprint and you can pretty much set it up as you want it so if you have different settings on each blueprint you can create a naturally spreading fire and by controlling it with actors it will be less expensive rather than dynamically generated for example here in this um, spreading volume this fire propagation volume we have a few settings uh, the length of the flame uh, how much length we have to add each tick how fast it should spread the degrees of the spreading if we have to use this uh, only once or we can trigger this multiple times you have total freedom on how you want to set this up and for example here we are using some static meshes some plants static meshes and if you are a modeler or you plan to use this project on your own you can set up also what mesh you would, are going to use after the event of burning is done for example I don't have a burned mesh so I'm using the standard one but if for example you want uh, to have like a destroyed table or all those kind of things you can do that directly from here also we have another setting that it's called can attach and this is used here since we have the blueprint extra event here where you basically don't have to change anything from this it has a box that is overlapping you can uh, practically go here and set up the box as you want and any overlapping flame actor that has the property that can attach when the extra event is triggered those flames will remain attached to the actor so this was the case when uh, we went in lit this planks on fire and when the extra event got triggered the flames will stay attached to the wood and also you have all these little fire propagation uh, blueprints that are not using a mesh and these are really useful if you want to create some surfaces that catch on fire over time without the use of a static mesh you, uh, you can set up the time on after how long the extra event has to be triggered for example maybe you want the flames to climb up here and then you have this one over here that is going to overlap with the extra event blueprint and maybe you want this guy to be the hinge and maybe after a longer time that has been burning trigger this extra event but it's entirely up to you on how you want to set up 
and you have total freedom. And if you want to use this project as just a regular flamethrower with interaction with characters, you have the code entirely set up in the character blueprint and the projectile blueprint. I hope you can enjoy this project. There is uh, There will be a link for a demo in the description as well on the product page. And I'll be making another video and go more in depth with every single variable and feature that this project has to offer. Thank you for coming in. See you next time.